Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Apollo PLT-1 Ultimate Plant Sensor, the non-battery version with temperature probe. This nifty little green device packs a lot of sensors into a small package. That will hopefully allow you to look after your little green buddies better. Speaking as someone that has a knack of killing plants faster than saying desert conditions, let's hope this sensor is the cure and not the curse. In this video, we'll run you through what you get in the box, the setup with a mobile and with Home Assistant, then we'll review what sensor data is exposed, then we'll show you a really neat Hacks custom flower card where you can display all that sensor data. So let's get the watering can out and see what this sensor is all about. Apollo is all about configuration options and the PLT-1 follows this trend. The PLT-1 comes in two different configuration options, the non-battery version and a battery version, of which the non-battery version is currently the only variant available, with the battery version promised to come shortly. We'll do a review on that version when it comes out, but for the moment let's focus on the non-battery version. The unit is made from high quality green textured injection molded material with tight tolerances and a much improved feel of quality over the previous 3D printed devices. The non-battery version boasts an impressive compact form factor of 41mm wide by 26mm tall and 14mm deep and weighs in at a very light 34 grams. With a 77mm ground stake that is coated with a green conformal layer to protect it against damage of the elements. The unit is small enough to hide away in the foliage. We'll get to the sensors this small little device has later in the video, but one option I'd highly recommend is the external temperature probe. It costs $7.82 Australian, measures 20cm and plugs into the side of the PLT-1 and allows you to measure the temperature of the soil. Match this along with the soil moisture and you have a great idea about what's going on under the surface. As the device is non-battery powered, it has a USB-C socket to the side of the device, which Apollo will sell you a USB-A to USB-C cable for 5 Australian dollars to get you up and running. All this in a non-battery powered unit means the unit is for indoor use only and is not watertight. Below the USB-C socket is a 3.5mm barrel jack, which is where the soil temperature probe attaches. Then below this is a super small reset button with a corresponding boot button to the opposite side. The Apollo PLT-1 is a powerhouse of plant monitoring technology. Let's break down its impressive features. First off, there is a state-of-the-art capacitive soil moisture sensor. This technology offers superior accuracy of plus or minus 3% precision. The ground probe is protected with a conformal coating, ensuring longevity and resistance to soil chemicals and environmental factors. The PLT-1 is a multi-sensor that just happens to be focused on soil moisture. As such, it's equipped with a suite of high precision sensors, an air temperature sensor with a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 0.3 degrees C. I have no idea why we need this, but I'm sure you can enlighten me in the comments. There's a humidity sensor accurate to plus or minus 2% humidity relative. A lux meter for light sensitivity with a range of 0 to 65,535 lux. And a UV sensor so you know if your beloved plant is getting enough of the right type of light. Optionally, you can purchase a soil probe that monitors the soil temperature with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 degrees C. This is apparently crucial for monitoring soil root health, optimizing nutrient uptake and preventing temperature stress. So if you have all this information coming into your home assistant and you're sending this off to a powerful AI and it will tell you your plant is screaming for water. So you, now you can turn on an RGB light with 16 million colors and an 85 decibel buzzer to notify you to attend your deprived plants. And to help you set up and transmit this information, the PLT-1 is Wi-Fi enabled for 2.4 GHz plus Bluetooth low energy for initial setup and diagnostics. The setup of the PLT-1 is the same as with all ESP devices. You'll start with connecting your phone and then move across to Home Assistant on the desktop. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using an iPhone, but the same general process applies if you're using an Android phone. Open up your settings. Select Wi-Fi. Select the Apollo PLT-1 hotspot. 
Now, sometimes this navigates directly to the login web page, but if not, open a browser. Navigate to 192.168.4.1. This will bring you to the usual ESP Wi-Fi configuration screen. Select your SSID or type it in. Just make sure that it's the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and not the 5 GHz. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Press save. Your PLT will now connect to your Wi-Fi and broadcast that it is available. Now let's move across to Home Assistant. You should see a new notification has appeared. Select Notifications. Press Check it out. This will navigate you to the integrations and you should see the Apollo PLT1 device that you just added. Press Configure. Now press Submit. Optionally give it an area and press Finish. Now let's go and see what sensor values are exposed in Home Assistant. Press Devices. Search for PLT and select your new PLT1. In controls, you get to toggle the LED light and set to one of 16 million different colors. Remember, you can also automate with this LED, which means you can display red, amber, green for the moisture levels. Then in sensors, you get the air humidity, which shows as a percentage relative humidity, the air temperature, the lux levels, which is the amount of light that is hitting the sensor, and the UV levels, which tells you if your plant is getting the right type of light. Then the main sensor, which is the percentage soil moisture, which shows a zero as it is currently out of the soil, so it looks like it's pre-calibrated. Now there is a wiki that takes you through the calibration of this sensor that I'll link in the description, which is super simple. Scroll down to the diagnostic section. Press plus two entities not shown. Select a soil ADC. Select the cog in the top right hand corner. Press Enable. You'll have to wait 30 seconds for the entity to become available. Press OK. Now press Update. After 30 seconds, the soil ADC will show the voltage for the soil moisture sensor. Assuming that your sensor is still in your desk, this is the value that you will need to enter into the dry voltage in the configuration section. Now place the probe, make sure it's only up to the Apollo line in a glass of water, and take the soil ADC reading again. Scroll up to the configuration section and populate the 100% water voltage and your soil moisture sensor is configured. And finally we have the soil temperature. The important thing here is to make sure that your 3.5mm jack plug is pushed all the way in and that you have inserted this before you power on the device. If not, this will read unknown. In that case, simply power cycle your PLT1. Moving into the configuration section, We've already touched on the soil moisture configuration, but you also get offsets for calibrating the air temperature and humidity sensors, as you'll need to account for the temperature generated by the ESP32. And finally, a prevent sleep toggle. As this is a non-battery version, you can leave this toggled on. This will become relevant with the battery powered version. So now we have lots of data about what's happening with our plant. But what's the best way to represent this? Well, here's where we can get dragged into the depths of plantology. Yes, I know it's not a word, but let's scratch the surface. There is a fabulous integration called Plant Monitor and a flower card in Hacks by Olin. Links in the description. This is a huge topic all on its own, and I'll put links in the description. And if you'd like me to cover this topic in a video, then let me know in the comments. But here is the Hacks Flower custom card from Olin, populated with our data from the PLT1. You can even put a picture of your favorite plant here. But as I know this cactus is not going to be with us for that long, I didn't want to get too attached. So the Apollo PLT1 Ultimate Plant Sensor, what do I think? Well, the vast majority of plant moisture sensors battle around price and making the sensor cheaper and cheaper and usually to the detriment of the sensor quality, accuracy and range. Apollo have gone totally the opposite way here and kept the price reasonable, but have made the sensor more accurate, increased the number of sensors on the single device and even added one with soil temperature, which I know all those green finger people are going to get really excited about. The build quality is good, the components are excellent and the aesthetics are great as it disappears into the foliage. I would have loved to have seen a USB cable to be green also and maybe a little more protection for the electronics as I know that accidents are going to happen but I guess you have to leave room for version 2. Well done guys for thinking out of the box and not just following the sheep. The unit retails for $27.99 American or $43.92 Australian 
which although not cheap, considering what you're getting is very reasonable. Remember, as this is an ESP32, you can also use it as a Bluetooth proxy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then consider hitting that like, thumbs up, comment, and sharing. And if you want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help the channel, then maybe become a channel member, or a super thanks. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.